the goal for this tutorial is to hook up your envelope to affect the VCF filter cut off frequency and the effect the VCO pulse width modulation. This is like the VCM module, voltage control template you, is really easy. Create a new patch and save it as VCA.pd into your working folder. Insert an audio inlet, an audio multiply box, and an audio outlet, connected together. There are two modes for the amplitude on the 101, envelope control, and gate control. We will need inlets for two signals. These will come through your envelope module once we've made it. To switch between the two we will effectively turn the volume of one of them up, and turn the volume of the other one down. The toggle will switch. We connect it directly to the envelope and invert it with the expression object for the gate. When the button is pressed, the envelope is enabled. When it is unpressed, the gate is enabled. So that we don't get a click when the gate opens and closes, we can put in a low pass filter for a little bit of smoothing. We only need one thing for the interface, a switch to change mode. A simple radio switch will do it. Finally, we add the inlet so that we can control the switch view outside the patch. Make sure this control inlet is the leftmost inlet in the patch. Then do the graph on parent stuff as usual. Wonderful. Save that as vca.pd into your working folder. Then you can add it to your main patch between the filter output for the VCF and the DSC. Before we can test this we will need to actually make the envelope patch. Create a new patch and save it as env.pd. We are going to cheat a wee bit here and bring in the ADS or envelope object through the Pure Data Tutorials. You can find this in the Pure Data app folder shown above, or you can download it with the patches included for this tutorial. You can also open it via the Help browser like this, copy it on the new patch, and save that as adsr.pd. That's probably fastest. Once you have the ADSR file in the same folder, you can create one in your envelope patch. These initial settings are for volume 1 at that time 5 milliseconds, decay 100 milliseconds, sustain 50%, release 1 second. I'll make this exponentially get a slightly steeper envelope. That will be directly sent out to the outlet. As ever, we have a control inlet. Messages headed, env, will be used to set the settings. The overflow will be used for the velocity information in the range not day one. For this ADSR object we want to send the velocity both in the level inlet and the trigger inlet. We can also make the gate at this stage which is just a knot or a one if the velocity is greater than not. We make this an audio signal before outputting it for the other outlet. Now then, 
We want four sliders for the attack. Dickie, Sistine, and Elise. Let's set the range for 1 to 4,000. The sustain will need a different range between not and one hana. We can use an unpack so that we don't need a separate message for each slider but can use a list to set all the values at once. That's pretty much it then. Add the graph to parent option so that we can make a nice slim module out of it. Okay, try adding it to your test patch. So that things don't start to get too messy we can use sends and receives to keep things neat. We can reconnect the envelope to the VCA to test it. We will need to generate notes in a slightly different way now though. We need not just frequencies but velocities too. We both notes on and notes have to stop the envelope. We can use the make note object for this. We combine this with strip note because we do not want the note half messages to affect the frequency a second time. Have a look at the strip note help file for help with that. We divide the velocity to get it in the range not to 1 instead of not to 127. Give that a try and see how it goes. There you go. The gate is a hard one enough. The end setting uses the sliders. Just for fun, we could create a wee note making test patch. Create a sub patch with a single inlet. Bit of metro in there, a random way of NGA or so, and a tab. Read the object with a name like notes or something. We need an actual array with the same name, so put one in and call it the same thing. Then we can add some actual note values with a simple message. Notice that we need a semicolon at the start, then the word notes, then a zero. Then eight MIDI note values to choose for. To keep things tidy, we can also put the make note, strip note, and the MIDI a frequency conversion and divide objects in here. Then we have two outlets we one go into the frequency input in the VCO, and the other go into the end input for the velocity trigger.
Great, great, great. Wonderful. In the next tutorial we will hook up our envelope to control a few other things in the patch like the VCO and the filter and that.